This is Sheba. And this is Shahid. Hey guys, Aiden here. It's feeding time. Can't really talk right now. Enjoying my milk. I get a little bit hangry when I don't get my milk. But look at me now. So calm. <laughs> nope. You guys are just gonna have to wait until I finish my milk. All done. I'm just having some upright time now to make sure that Aiden doesn't spit anything up. Uh, or to make sure that he doesn't choke on anything again. You can tell that we're home now and we have been since yesterday at about noon, so it's been almost 24 hours. We're still doing good, but Aiden did give us a scare, a big scare on Tuesday night, um, one that we felt we had to get checked out. And this poor little guy underwent 36 hours of observation, had a needle in his arm, suction in his nose, and he's such a trooper. But um, since posting our video, we've received a lot of messages from friends near and far from Surrey all the way to Switzerland and from parts of Canada that are not in BC and we wanted to say how appreciative we are that so many people are reaching out to ask us what happened, to offer their support, to just say sorry and it sucks that it's something that we had to go through. Yeah. They're all messaging for you. He says thank you. He's also trying to push something out for you. We really appreciate it. It gives us the strength to go on and to continue vlogging our journey. Uh, the goods and the bads, the ups and the downs, and obviously um, the happy moments as well as the scary moments because, you know, we know that we're not alone in whatever that whatever it is that we're going to go through. So thank you for being invested in their lives. Thank you for caring about them. Thank you for caring about us. Um, and we hope to continue doing this for a while and, and bring you along on our journey. He doesn't know it yet, but like I've said it before, these guys are so lucky to have so many people here and far away that have checked in on them, that have started to love them already. I mean, how can you not love that face? Today is the first real test of real life. Uh, Dad's away. Daddy's away. He's gone to work. Uh, he just left at about an hour ago. And he's not going to be back home until 8 o'clock tonight around there. Um, and staying here alone with two is it's kind of overwhelming because they're still building back a routine. It got messed up after the hospital. Um, us as parents, we haven't slept. Uh, I was really tired last night. We had to call in uh, Grandma Devji to help with one of the feedings because I just could not keep my eyes open and we're so happy that she's here. She's with Zane right now. Zane's just getting some upright time, some tummy time. So she's here helping me out today and we'll see how the day goes. Our first official day without Dad being here. And more reinforcements on the way. Grandma Milani and Grandpa Milani and Mama Milani. All of them are on their way over just to give these guys some extra cuddles today and maybe I can catch a few more of these because I'm still pretty tired. So a little confession, I'm not feeling too great today with the uh, second emergency visit, the lack of sleep that came with it and adding that to the lack of sleep that we already had, um, the tough nights and worst I guess for me is finally leaving the house to go work today. Um, I just haven't been feeling good about it. Had a tough time leaving the house and didn't properly say bye to anyone, uh, especially the two boys. And immediately when I was on the road, I regretted that. And I totally get now when uh, it's one of these things again that I understand finally now why parents uh, really say to to say goodbye to your kids the, like it's the last time you'd uh, see them. Because if it is, there's a lot of re regret there for sure. So, um, I'm here at work and 
Can't wait till I get back home so I can properly at least say hello to them. <laughs> it's a video. Always trying to be camera ready. Grandma Amlani. Mm. But then look at this nest. No, no, They're both holding the boys for me so I can still catch up on some rest. I was just in the middle of a sleep when Zane started stirring. Uh, but all he wanted was some tummy time, so he got that and he's back to sleep. And Grandma Devji has him so I can go have some lunch at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was going to take a moment and show you what I was eating for lunch, but I was so hungry and considering the time, the boys are supposed to wake up any minute. So I just literally scarfed it down. This is all I have left. This right here, these are my happy moments. Warm tea and a croissant. Mm. Even though it's a relatively short day, only four or five hours in the office, um, I still need some motivation and some fuel to get me through it. It's a good thing we did that newborn photo shoot this last week because I carry this around now. One of my favorite shots from the photo shoot. And there are plenty more where that came from. I'll share the link either below this video or somewhere else on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram once all the photos are uploaded. They're edited, but they're just not uploaded yet. All right, that's a lot of spit up. And for a second, we thought Zane might be having the same issue as Aiden with his swallowing and breathing techniques. And then it later dawned on me that Grandma Amlani was just holding him more in tummy time position, rubbing his back, than upright position after he ate. So all of it just came right back out. It was unfortunate. Nanu was covered. But Zane seems okay. He's fast asleep. Sorry, Nanu. But that wasn't my fault. And here is Mr. Aiden, sir. Just had a lot of upright time with me. Wanted to put him down for a little bit of an arm break. These guys are gaining weight. Not so bad being at work when this is your office for part of the day. And as much as being inside and sleep deprived can affect your mood in a negative way like we've talked about, just being outside here for a couple hours and interacting with some of my colleagues and talking about the babies, of course, um, has in improved and increased the positivity in my day, so that's a good thing. All right, day one with dad has gone off pretty smoothly. Even though I really don't like it when he's not here, I have to say that it's been manageable, but only because we've had help again. Like I said, a reinforcements arrived. In the car loads with the grandmas and grandpa here, and right now Zane's snuggling with grandpa again. Um, but it's been a lot man more manageable for me because I've had the extra hands in the house. The boys have been waking after three hours or about three hours and on different times, like half an hour after each other, which has let me feed one and then pass him off to be bottle fed for his top up while I contend to the second one. But obviously that's only possible if I have someone to pass them off to. And today I've had the grandparents here and it's been really nice. What's also kept me sane is having season one of Friends running on the TV. So I get a little bit of a break from watching them or tending to them or just having some noise in the house that's not me wondering what their coups are. Not quite a bad life, but I'm ready for dad to come home. You can play some music to the boys, sing some songs together, and uh, maybe I can turn this TV off. Finally back home, and I can't wait to say hi to my little guys. I miss you guys. <laughs> did you miss me? <laughs> wait a second. Yes, we did. Wait a second. I'm home. Yeah. Did you miss me? Yeah. I said, okay, fine, you are cuter than your brother. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, it's so heavy. You gotta do your famous line now. You wanna kiss me on the lips? <laughs> hmm? You wanna kiss me on the lips? Aww. Something's happening in there. Someone's happy to be home. It looks like Dad really missed his boys. We're not really sure what he's doing though. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Sleepy. Hello, Mr. Cutie. You said you think he likes it? Yeah, jury's still out. Friday night, uh, 10.40. What did I say? 10.45. <laughs> and we're in bed. You're in bed, actually. I'm going to go back downstairs. But, two observations. One, 
It smells like manure in here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. And I would know. I owned a chicken farm for a long time, and there were giant buildings the size of hockey rinks filled with manure. And this smells like manure. Yeah, it's disgusting. Their diaper genie is not really containing the smell right now. Second observation, today was an interesting day. Yeah, today was a weird day. It was the first day that we were really separate for a big part of the day. And it's starting to feel more like real life. I didn't like it very much. You didn't like it very much? No. As you know, you've watched this video. I didn't like it very much either. But I did come around by the end of it. Um, and by the time I got home, I was in a decent mood and obviously when I saw the little guys and had to change diapers and feed <laughs> and all that, you really can only live in the moment at mm -hmm. that time and, and it kind of takes your mind off everything that stresses you out and and that's kind of a good thing, yeah. again. So, um, I was able to enjoy being back home despite it smelling like crap. <laughs> Sometimes all you gotta do is just look at their faces. And Wake up and else, smell the diapers. Everything else just doesn't matter. It's true. Yeah. But at least we, we didn't have, like it was a half day uh, of being out of the house for work. Uh, and you had help and company. And, and friends. And my, my work, <laughs> yeah. And my work wasn't uh, very stressful today. And I got to spend some of it outside. And a lot of it was uh, baby talk as well. So it was like a soft re-entry into real life. And we got past it, so... Uh, next week, we may take other steps, but first, the weekend. And I hear babies crying. I better go to sleep. <laughs> you think you're actually going to sleep? For, no, I think you're going to have to go back downstairs. 